Okay, hello dear friends. Let's take a look at some of these problems. And uh, <clears throat> as you can see, I have done uh, a long time and I got it wrong. So I was thinking, um, <clears throat> now I understood a little bit. And I think it's more important I share my pain so that you can learn it a little bit uh, uh, less stressful. So here is the problem. I will write it down. Put a piece of paper. Okay, this is a good piece of paper. Okay, <clears throat> so we have the graph here. And uh, the teacher asked us to do the graph and uh, figure out where is the hole, where, what is the x, as, um, uh, x intersects, y intersects, uh, vertical asymptote, horizontal asymptote, and behavior. So we will copy this problem and do it one, one at a time. So copy the problem y equal to 6x plus 3x minus 1 over x minus 3x squared minus 1. Now we see this problem. So first thing, there is one thing. It's not completely factorized, so we need to factorize until it is reached to its most maximum expandable form. This is not yet, so we will expand it. Six, the, the numerator is good, so we copy the numerator. It did not need to do any change. The denominator, however, need to walk on a little bit. x squared minus 1 equal to x plus 1 times x minus 1. So here is the completely uh, factorized form. So where is the whole? What does it mean, the whole? The whole here, there is a very good example. It means we can find a whole. We can find a whole. The upper part and the, uh, the, 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 the numerator and the denominator both have the same factor so we can cross cancel out but there is a catch because x could the, the numerator the denominator could not be zero so at this instance x cannot be one x cannot be one but when x, but it can be cross cancelled. So there is a number that you can figure out when x equal to 1. Suppose imaginarily you think x equal to 1. This function still exists and you figure out the y value. And that point, when you see the graph, you will find out that is actually a hole in a few minutes when we when we finish some other things when we get to the graph point we will take a look at it so when x equal to one we will figure out what is the y value x equal to one cross cancel so six times one plus okay a bit slow, smaller. Six times one plus three over one minus three. One one plus one equal to twenty four negative uh, r r the si equal negative 6. So where is the point? When x equal to 1, y equal to negative 6. This is a hole. When we see the graph, we will figure out. It will show us. Okay, x intersects 
So what is x intersects? x intersects is that when y equal to zero, what is the x value? y equal to zero, it means the numerator is zero. So x could be negative three and positive one, no x cannot be positive one so this one is out of our consideration so x intersects will be x is negative 3 y equal to 1 only this one what is the y intersects what is the y intersects which is when y When x is 0, y intersects. Now we put on the graph something like it. Here, here. The y, when x, the y intersects is when x is 0, y, there is a value. There is a value for y. For example, here or maybe here. I do not know. We just need to figure it out. So, y equal to uh, x equal to zero. It means six times zero plus three. Okay, divide over zero minus three. Zero plus one. Right? So, 36 equal 36, and negative 3 equal to negative 6. Ooh, that is very strange. Negative. Zero minus 3, 0 plus 1, 1. Negative three Yes, we are right. So the y intersects is x zero y negative six. Okay, what is the what is uh, the vertical vertical asymptote asymptote? What is the vertical asymptote? When this is a fraction, when the denominator becomes so small, so small, so small, almost to zero, it reaches to zero, and then the, the result, the value of the whole function will become bigger and bigger and bigger to the, the, the biggest. So when when the denominator equal to zero and it can never be zero and it reach to a certain point. So when x minus three equal to zero. So x x minus three equal to zero x equal to three and same thing, x equal to negative 1. So we can kind of, uh, x equal to negative 1, here is a line, and negative x equal to positive 3, here is another line. So our graph will be something like here, reach to its, uh, it, it almost touch it, it always, never, never, never ever touch these two lines. So this is the vertical asymptote. Okay, so the horizontal asymptote horizontal asymptote there is no sign that we can see any horizontal asymptote because when we see the horizontal asymptote and end behavior, we see, we divide this one. 
and we divide. We 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 make the x to the highest point to to the biggest number. Okay, six times x the the numerator's degree, the highest degree is 6x squared. And the denominator, the highest degree, is x cubed. So we only do care about the highest degree, 6x squared over x cubed. So, it is 6, x over 6. So, when x equal to very, very big, to the biggest extremity, the whole y value equal to as close as to 0. So this is the end behavior. Y equal to zero. Y equal to zero. Y equal to zero. So it's actually the x exit is is the vertical is the horizontal asymptote. Horizontal asymptote. Okay. Y equal to zero is the horizontal asymptote. Now we take a look at our graph. Go to our decimal. X minus three, X minus three, oh, X minus three, X square minus one. Okay, so that is the graph. Now Take a look. Now take a look. Okay, we said that uh, that uh, the we said. Maybe that's too bad piece of paper. Okay, we said the whole is x equal to 1, y equal to negative 6, x equal to 1, y equal to negative 6. y intersects y intersect see 
Okay. Oh, that is a moment of truth. Okay. So we said the whole is one and negative six, right? Okay. Take a look. The moment of truth. One. And negative six. See? One undefined. Here is a hole. Here is a hole. Can you see that hole? That is a hole in this graph. You cannot see it, but uh, when you point exactly to that point, see? That is the hole. That is the hole. And uh, the x intersect is a negative 3 y equal to 0, right? That is it. Negative 3, y equal to 0. And the y exit is 0, negative 6. Yes, we are right. And the vertical asymptote, see, it goes very, very, very close to neg x equal to negative 1 x equal to negative 1 and x equal to positive 3 and another line is y equal to 0 see y equal to 0 it goes closer 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 kind of fun, huh? Okay, that is the graph we are looking at. Kind of interesting. So, go to Desmo and look at those informations. It's very interesting. Thank you very, very much. I love you. I really do. And I feel good that uh, I learned a new, <laughs> old dog learned a new trick. <laughs> I love you, I really do.